Good morning, good morning. Give an honor to God. It is indeed a pleasure to be here in the house of the Lord today. We thank God for all the things that he's done. And we thank God for the traveling grace that we have received to get here. But even more when we think about the people that's on their way, we're praying that God gives them traveling grace as well. So let's start out this morning giving God the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's just give God a hand clap. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for all thank that you, he's Lord. done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I say victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I'm so glad that Jesus is mine. Victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I'm so glad that Jesus is mine. Joy today is mine. Peace is mine. Peace is mine. Peace today is mine. I'm so glad that Jesus is mine. Peace today is mine. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. His blood came streaming down. His blood came streaming down. His blood came streaming down for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give an honor to God today, who's definitely the head of my life. Yes. Yes. Give an honor to our pastor, first lady. Hallelujah. Give an honor to the pastors. And that's all the pastors in the house. Our missionary pastors. Praise hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our pastor in the back, back there. Pastor Mike. Hallelujah. Pastor Torres, which I know he's going to be here. Hallelujah. Pastor Dan, as he's on his sabbatical. And Pastor Mata. I just thank God for our heavenly body that God has placed here in our church home. This wonderful, wonderful body we have. A beautiful people that come to worship, to pray, to praise, and to worship God in this house. Hallelujah. We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. Yes. Bless yes, us. Yes, Bless yes. us, Lord. You know, as, as, as my wife say, he sits up high, but he looks down low. Yes, but when the yes. prayers go up, when the prayers go up, the, the blessings, blessings come, come down. down. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, so Lord. let us bow. Heavenly Father, we come to you with bowed down heads and humble hearts. Thanking you, Heavenly Father, for our life, our health, and our strength. Praising you, Heavenly Father, because we know that without you there is nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to touch each and every person in this house today. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We can't thank you enough yes, for all yes, that yes, you Lord. have done and all that you will do. Yes, Lord. Lord we love you. Yes. We love you, most mighty, most honorable God. We love you today. Yes. And today we ask you for special favors. Lord, we're asking you to bless Minor today. To touch him, Lord, from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. Lord, give him the will to do your will. Yes. And bless his hands, yes. Lord. Yes. Let him paint like Picasso. Yes. Yes. Lord, in the mighty name of yes. Jesus, Lord, thank you, Jesus, touch his work. Yes, Let Lord. everyone that see it 
that let everyone that has the opportunity to have him to work for them be okay with it be glad with it be proud yes, with Lord. it in the Thank mighty you. name of jesus Thank we ask you, you for a special blessing for his wife and his family yes lord, lord. we thank you for nick because he's here yes, every lord. day yes yes doing your will lord yes lord thank anytime you. we ask him for anything he's okay with okay we're gonna do it we'll get it done yes lord. no matter what it is if it's yes, a funeral yes. or if it's a car whatever nick is always there for us yes. and lord we thank you for putting him here we we know but that without you he wouldn't be here Yes, it's Lord. you that put him here. Yes, and we praise you and we honor you for that servant, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we thank you for our pastor. What a wonderful pastor you have put in our midst, yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, and we give you honor and we give you praise for him and his first lady because she is the one that put the air up under his wings, Lord. Yes, Lord. And thank we you. thank you for him. We thank you, Lord, for Karen today and her family and her boys. We yes, watched yes. them grow, Lord. We watched yes, them yes, yes. as you provided for them yes, to Lord. do the work that you would have them to do lord we thank you this day for them yes lord i can't thank you and praise you enough mm -hmm. i cannot thank you and praise you enough yes lord thank lord we you. praise you for star because we know that sometimes we call her a wonder woman but we know that you have put the power there for her to do the job that she is doing so we thank you for her lord yes, we praise you that you did this for us lord yes, yes. that you provided a way through her for us lord yes, so we lord. thank you today we give you praise and we give you honor yes, and we just can't Hallelujah. thank, thank you. you enough yes, yes in the yes. mighty name of jesus i pray let everyone that hears the message today be blessed. Yes. Let everyone that hears a song yes. be blessed yes. today. Let this house be blessed and the windows open up and blessings flow out for each person that is here today. Yes. Lord, we thank you for each family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Yes, Amen. 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 And we ask God to put a special blessing on the man of God that comes to bring the word today. Yes. May the worship team sing songs of Zion to bless somebody's heart and soul. Hallelujah. And as we get ready this morning, we'd like to introduce to some and tell to others our sister star to come and give us our morning welcome. In the mighty Let's name of Jesus. Give God a hand clap. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Good morning. All I can say is hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To see your faces another week. And turn to each other and wave because each face is a blessing to see. I want to say it's a, a very good blessing for us here at First Church in the Nazarene this morning to see Sister Elizabeth. Sister Elizabeth has been struggling with health issues for over a year, and to see her here with us this morning is a blessing indeed. Sister Elizabeth, would you please wave to everyone so everyone will know who you are? Just wave to everyone. Yeah, just wave. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for blessing her and bringing her with us this morning. And I want to say welcome to our missionaries from El Salvador, welcome. Thank you for coming and being with us this weekend. And thank you for your friends that have come, Ed and Kim. Thank you for coming this morning as well. We here at the First Church of the Nazarene and the Nazarene family, we are a global community of faith. We are commissioned to take the good news of life in Jesus Christ to people everywhere and to spread the message of scriptural holiness across the lands. Here at First Church of the Nazarene, we have a mission statement and a vision statement. Our mission statement is to reflect God's love in the city and inspire people to experience a changed life 
filled with joy, hope, and peace. Our vision statement is to be a place of inspiration, healing, and compassion, where all cultures, races, and ages will experience God's love and impact our community for good. Our first scripture reading this morning comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 8 through 17, and verses 25 through 27. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Word of the Lord, and great times as these, let not your heart be troubled. Amen? Good morning, everybody. If you can, may you stand with us today as we begin to go in into worship and just praise and yell our hearts out to the Lord.
darkness we were waiting without hope, without light. Till from heaven you came running, there was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the laws and prophets. To a virgin came the word from the throne of endless glory to a grave.
name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We invite you to take a posture of prayer. Here at First Church, we like to invite you not to stand if you feel that will be too long for you. We invite you to rest as well. Part of worship is resting. Did you know that? So you can sit down if you would like. But we're going to pray. Do you have prayer requests? So many things that we can pray for. You can kneel down as well. You know, I remember the times where we would just stop and just kneel down as a church. So if you feel that you want to kneel down, you're invited to kneel down. If you're, if, if you're invited and, and, and touched by the Holy Spirit to go pray for someone, this is a good time. To go and say, I'm going to pray for it, my friend, my sister, my brother in Christ. What can we pray for? We have reasons to pray for family, friends, church, community, country, the world, Ukraine, USA, Canada region, our family time and small groups, offerings, our tithes, the outreach that the Lord has given us. At the same time, we can pray and continue praying for this thing that we call just people thinking that can end lives because they feel like we continue praying for Obaldi, Texas and other cities that have been affected. So what is your prayer request? And today, today we finish with our USA, Canada, not to pray, but the great half million mobilization of USA, Canada region. Pentecost Sunday is today. Let the fire pour on us, fresh and new in us. Let us pray. Father, we are so thankful for this day you have given us. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, because you are here with us. And we thank you, Lord, because you have brought us from many different places of the world. Some of us, Lord, from Taiwan. Others, Lord, from Guam. Others, Father, we have family members from the Philippines. Others, Father, from Central America, from Nicaragua, Guatemala, El Salvador from Honduras, from Costa Rica, Father. Others, Lord, we come from South America, Father, and we are so thankful, Lord, for those regions that are represented here. And others, Lord, we have been born here, we have been raised here, and this is our home, Father, and we thank you for the blessing that you have given us. So, Father, here we are, your children. On this day of Pentecost, Father, it's not that we do not have the Holy Spirit, Father, but we pray as a church, as a community, Father, that your Holy Spirit will be poured once again fresh into the flesh and living bodies of who we are, Father, because we need you every day of our lives. And we thank you, Father, for our brothers and sisters who are missionaries today. What a gift they are to the church and to us. What a gift they are, Lord, to a community. What a gift they are, Father, in something they will be doing so many things in their lives. But Father, one thing that I know they will always be doing is always sharing your love for all people. Because you have given your son, you have given your spirit for all who believe in you. So Father, we pray for the ones who will believe through their word, through their sharing, through their gospel proclaiming. And we thank you, Father. Because we know, Lord, that you are with them as you are with us. So today, Father, we thank you for that great opportunity. Father, we thank you as well for joining us, for allowing us to join you in mission, for allowing us, Lord, to be part of this weekend. It has been a great blessing weekend, and we thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. What a wonderful time. You know, uh, next week, you can sit down, pueden sentarse. Next week is Trinity Sunday. And I, I want to do the song again, okay? Just want to let you know. Uh, today is Pentecost Sunday. Uh, here at the First Church, we follow the lectionary. It just helps me to stay within some of the larger body of Christ, amen? But next Sunday is the Trinity Sunday. We're going to be speak, speaking about the work of the Holy Spirit in the church. And I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I invite Pastor uh, Roger Lemus, uh, and then when he gets here, you know, we want to introduce a few of our guests as well. 
What a blessing to have you, brother and sister. Qué hermoso es tenerles aquí con nosotros. And, uh, and I'm going to be translating, so I'm going to be over here. Um, I'm going to invite you to go in a biblical journey. Is that okay? Are you, are you comfortable reading the Word of God? Are you comfortable listening to the Word of God? Uh, I, I believe, not, not in all areas in churches, but I believe that, that less and less we have time to read the Word of God. And even if when we were in pandemic and COVID, uh, I think God kind of like used that time for people to really reflect on their lives. But still, over and over, if I ask a survey of here, of the 30 people that we have here, if I ask how many times you read the Word of God this week, if you are truthful, you will say, I, I, I read it once. Some of you will say, I read it every day. Some of you guys will might say, well, you know, I read it when I come to church. And that's the reason we read the Word of God. So here's the journey. Acts 1, Acts 2. You guys ready? The first account... I compose, Phyphilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach. And until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after he had by the Holy Spirit given orders to the apostles whom he had chosen. To this he also presented himself alive after his suffering. By many convincing proofs, appearing to them over a period of 40 days and speaking of the things concerning the kingdom of God. Gathering them together, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised, which he said, you heard of from me. For John baptized you with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they were asking him, saying, Lord, is it this time you are restoring the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or epochs which the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witness both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and even the remote part of the earth. And after he had said these things, he was lifted up while they were looking on, on a cloud received him out of their sight. And as they were gazing intently into the sky, what he was, was going on, while he was going, behold, two men in white clothing stood beside them. And they also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? And this Jesus who have been taken out from you into heaven, will come in just the same way as you have watched him go into heaven. The word of the Lord in Acts 1, 1 to 11. Acts 2, 1 to 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a noise like a violent rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fur, fire distributing themselves. What an image, amen. I, I, every time I, I see this and hear this in the Bible, Hollywood doesn't have anything on the Bible. <laughs> and, he, and there appeared to them tongues as fire distributing themselves. And they rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And began to speak with other tongues, other languages, as the Spirit was giving them utterance. Now there were Jews living in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation under heaven. And there, and when this sound occurred, the crowd came together and were bewildered. Because each one of them was hearing them speak in his own language. They were all amazed and astonished, saying... Why are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And, not, and how is it that we each hear them in our own language to which we were born? Parthians. They say Nicaraguenses, Guatemaltecos, Indians, you know. 
Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia. Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya are on Cyrene and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them in our own language, speaking of the mighty deeds of God. Hallelujah. And they all continue in amazement and great perplexity, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others were mocking and saying, They are full of sweet, sweet wine. But Peter, remember that guy, Peter? Taking his stand with the eleven, raised his voice and declared to them, and, and, and I, can, I, can, I can just picture Peter, not that arrogant feeling, not that, that, that I am the man. He stood up and said, filled with the Holy Spirit, remember that. Men of Judea and all you who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give heed to my words. For these men are not drunk, as you're supposed to, for it's only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken of through the prophet Joel. And it should be in the last days, God says, that I will pour forth of my spirit in all mankind. And your sons and your daughters should prophesy. And your young men should see visions. And your old men should dream dreams. Even on my bound slaves, both men and women, I will in those days pour forth of my spirit and they should prophesy and I will grant wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth below blood and fire and vapor or smoke the sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great glorious day of the Lord should come and it should be that everyone calls on the name of the Lord will be saved amen Hallelujah. And let's say, Lord, Lord, you are welcome in this place. Praise the name of the Lord for this time that we have here today. Amen. Praise the Lord for the word of God. Amen. It is just a wonderful way of us worshiping the Lord with the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Well, we're here to hear... Our missionary pastor, Reverend Ro Roher, Roger, I, I told him, I'm going to call you Roger Lemus. <laughs> pues Roger Lemus. Pase, hermano. Amen. Muy buenos días. Good morning. Ooh, can you uh, give him more? I'm, I'm usually the loud guy, so they always have to <laughs> put him up and, uh, and then lower me. <laughs> eh, es para nosotros con mi esposa Daisy y mi hija que nos acompaña también, da Daisy Jr. Es un gozo estar con ustedes en esta mañana. For us, it's a joy to be together here, my family and my wife and my daughter Daisy. Amen. Thank you. Y estamos agradecidos con el Señor porque podemos servir a su iglesia. And we are so thankful to the Lord because we can serve His church. El Señor nos, nos, el Señor nos ha permitido a, eh, servir en el campo misionero eh, en el área north central. And aquí. the Lord has uh, used us in the northwest of, uh, of the mission field there. Eh, creemos que Realmente Dios tiene propósitos para nuestras vidas. I truly believe that God has a purpose for our lives. Y también sé que para cada uno de ustedes también Dios tiene un gran propósito. And I know as well for each of you, God has a purpose for you. Agradecemos al Señor por, los, por la salvación tan grande que nos ha dado. And we give thanks to the Lord for the great salvation that we have. Y agradecemos también por la experiencia de la santidad. And as well the experience of y sabemos que nuestra experiencia no termina ahí. Hay mucho más. 
And we know that the experience does not end right there. There's much more. Y en estos años que hemos servido con mi esposa en el campo misionero, nos damos cuenta que hay mucha necesidad todavía en el mundo. And we know as ministering with my wife, there is a lot of need in the world. Y no solo necesidad material, por supuesto eso siempre lo hay, pero hay más necesidad de Dios. And more definitely, there is always a necessity or need of materialistic things, but much more a need of them knowing God. Y junto con mi esposa servimos a la iglesia del Nazareno, a todo el liderazgo, pastores y superintendentes en el área norte central. And we, uh, with my family, my wife, we minister, we serve, and we support all our leaders in that region. Y estamos agradecidos por servir con grandes hermanos y amigos, compañeros del ministerio. Aquí tenemos a nuestro hermano, los hermanos Nichols. And today we have great brothers and sisters with us, but we are so blessed to be working together as our brothers Nicholson. And can I say Nicholson? Neighbors in Guatemala. <laughs> Así es. Son, ellos, son misioneros, they're missionaries as well. Ellos también están, están sirviendo al Señor y ellos han visto más, más de cerca cómo la gente necesita de Cristo. And they as well have seen personally close how is the need and what is the need of the people. En el área donde servimos hay muchas aldeas, muchas tribus que todavía el evangelio no ha podido llegar. Believe it or not, in the areas that we serve, there's still areas and villages that the gospel has not reached yet. Pero para nosotros es una gran oportunidad de ser socios con Dios. And for us, it's a great opportunity to partner with God. Es una gran oportunidad para dar de lo que Dios nos da. A great opportunity for, to give for the Lord has given us. Quisiera compartirles rápidamente algunas estadísticas de nuestra área. And today I, I want to share briefly some of the uh, information, data, statistics of our region. Está, puedes, no sé. Sí se mira, pero... <laughs> Praise the Lord. There you go. Ahí está. Ok. <laughs> ¿Puedo tomar este? ¿verdad? Sí, puesto. Está todo ahí. Ok. Thank you. Tenemos 37 nuevas áreas en el mundo. We have 37 areas of the world. A través de la Iglesia de Nazareno podemos ver cómo el Señor está extendiendo su reino. And we can see in the Church of Nazareno how the Lord is extending His kingdom. Esta es una idea de lo que está sucediendo a nivel global a través de la Iglesia de Nazareno. This is a global picture of what the church is, is doing right now. Gracias al Señor por las eh, ofrendas del Fondo de Evangelismo Mundial podemos nosotros cubrir necesidades de educación teológica. And thanks to the Lord and to you and the church for the World Evangelism Fund, the, 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 the work can be extended. Gracias a, 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 a este esfuerzo generoso, mi esposa, mi hija, su servidor, hemos podido estudiar en el Seminario Teológico Nazareno. And, and, and you can see now within in our lives, my wife, my daughter and myself, we have been able to study because of the World Evangelization Fund. Pero también hay muchos líderes y pastores que no tienen recursos para pagar una universidad o un, o, o un seminario. And many other leaders and pastors don't have the finances to, to support themselves for, for studying. Y gracias al, al Fondo de Evangelismo Mundial podemos apoyar para que más pastores se preparen. And through the World Evangelization Fund WEF, we can support and be able to, to send more people to, to be trained. Nos damos cuenta que en Latinoamérica y creo que en Estados Unidos también hay una gran necesidad de pastores. We have seen the need of pastors in our region, in the, our region world and as well in the United States. Hay necesidad de prepararlos para enviarlos a las aldeas, a las comunidades. The need of prepare uh, pastors to be able to go out and be able to even go into the villages. Y creo que cuando servimos al Señor podemos explorar muchas maneras de hacer misión. 
And as we uh, go into with there is a diversification of how to do missions. Recuerdo que con mi esposa estábamos pastoreando y recibimos una invitación para un campamento de orientación misionera. Uh, we were a pastor and we were invited to go into a camp where it was orientation for missionaries. Y el Señor nos llamó en ese, en, en ese campamento. And in that camp of leaders and, and, and pastors, we were called to be missionaries. Teníamos una iglesia muy linda, había crecido, y una iglesia que iba hacia adelante. And we were part in, of a church that was growing, growing, and it was moving forward. We were, that was our church. Pero el Señor nos dijo a mi esposa y a mí, los necesito para ir a, a otros lugares donde necesitan de Jesús. But, but God told my wife and I, I need you somewhere else. Es importante entonces que eh, usted pueda también explorar, quizás en un viaje corto, misionero. Perhaps maybe in your own life and span you can participate in a small uh, uh, mission trip. Y usted pueda ver eh, con sus propios ojos cómo cuando damos un dólar podemos cambiar la vida de muchos. How we even when we give a dollar how life can be transformed. No se trata de dinero. It doesn't it really is not about finances or money wealth. Se trata de amor. It's about love. Cuando amamos a las personas. When we love people. Lo dejamos todo. We can leave everything. Lo entregamos todo. We can give everything. Porque eso hizo Cristo. Because that, is, because that is what Jesus did. Y por eso hoy celebramos el Pentecostés también. And that's the reason we as well celebrate Pentecost. Y estamos unidos como Iglesia Nazareno en todo el mundo conectados para rescatar a muchos que necesitan ser salvos. And that's why we are all connected together at the Church of the Nazarene to be able to go and proclaim the gospel and save people. Y qué lindo es que la Iglesia del Nazareno nos da oportunidad para descubrir, explorar y servir. It is so beautiful that the Church of the Nazarene allows us and gives us the opportunity to go to explore, to serve. Un día yo estaba ahí también sentado. One day I was sitting there just as you were. Mi esposa estaba sentada. And my wife as well was sitting there. El Señor nos unió en matrimonio. The, the, the Lord one day put us together as, as, as a couple. Hace 31 años. Uh, 31 years ago. Y juntos hemos ido creciendo. And together we have been growing. Y juntos fuimos llamados para servir. And together we were called to serve. Es algo que estamos profundamente agradecidos con el Señor. When we are completely profound. Porque un muchachito, un niño y una niña que jamás pensaron ir a las naciones, ahora estamos eh, saliendo para compartir del Señor. And we are so profound in gratitude to the Lord because two small kids, young people got together and now we are out there proclaiming the gospel in the missions field. De manera que es una bendición para nosotros servir. And for us it's a blessing y... to serve. El fondo de evangelismo mundial es la piedra angular de las misiones nazarenas. And for us, the World Fund is the, is the centerpiece, right? The cornerstone. Y con nuestras ofrendas compartimos el amor que transforma comunidades, familias, personas. And through our offering is the way we share our love to the people, to our families. En más, en más de 164 áreas del mundo. We are in 164 nations. La Iglesia del Nazareno está compartiendo el amor de Cristo. The Church of the Nazarene is sharing the love of God. Usted, usted hace posible que esto suceda. You make this happen. La construcción de un templo. Be able to complete in the construction of a temple. Es gracias a usted. We think we thank you as well. Gracias al Señor que toca los corazones. Thank you to the Lord because He's the one who touches the hearts. En comunidades donde jamás podríamos haber llegado de otra forma. In communities that we would have no way to get, to go there and get there. La gente necesita de Cristo. The people need of Jesus. Cuando uno les comparte el amor de Cristo, ellos escuchan. When you when they hear us because we're sharing the word the, the love of God, they do listen to us. Y sus corazones son tocados. And their hearts are, are transformed. Porque el amor de Dios, ellos lo pueden sentir. Because the love of God, they can feel it. Y cuando usted es socio de la iglesia del Nazareno enviando misioneros y aportando para que enviar misioneros because you are a partner in the Church of the Nazarene, because you're the one as well sending this uh, aid. 
Usted está impactando la vida de alguien. You are impacting the life of someone. Es, es un gozo ver cómo las aldeas, los, las personas se unen, aunque no son cristianos todavía, pero dicen, wow, hay una clínica para nosotros. Y ellos son impactados. And game, they are impacted, shows what y dice, ¿quién hace esto? Who does this? Y nosotros les decimos, hay muchos nazarenos en el mundo, en Estados Unidos. And we always say there are so many thousands of missions of no, Nazarenes in the United States as well. Que aunque no les conocen, les aman. Even though they do not know you, but they love you. Preparamos líderes. We, we as well prepare leaders. Tenemos iglesias en, 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 de madera de lámina. Sometimes we have churches who are meeting in a, in a small chapel that is uh, eliminated. Tenemos niños que tienen un plato de comida al día. Uh, we have the, the, the villages and their children only have one meal a day. Y son felices. And they're happy. Cuando la iglesia de Nazareno llega. When the church of Nazarene arrives, they are happy. Es lindo ver cómo Dios está transformando las comunidades. It is so wonderful in seeing how God is transforming their communities. Ellos no tienen un templo como este. They don't have a temple like this one. Pero con una tienda portátil, ellos son felices. A specific portable tent, they are happy. Y ahí celebran sus cultos. And that is their temple there, and they celebrate their worship time. Gracias a Dios por estos lugares que tenemos aquí. And we are so thankful for this temple that we have here, amen? Por esa banca tan, tan cómoda. To be able to sit in a very comfortable bench. Por eso siempre debemos darle honra y gloria al Señor por and that's tan grande we, bendición. And that's what we always need to praise the Lord and give thanks to the Lord for the blessing that He gives us. Pero también desde aquí podemos bendecir a otros. But even from this place here, from this where we are, we can bless others. Preparando pastores. Preparing pastors. North Central es un lugar que se caracteriza en Guatemala por una variedad de culturas e idiomas, más de 24 idiomas. In, in the area of, of, of North Central Guatemala, there's at least 24 dialects, languages that are spoken there. Pero todavía hay muchos lugares, muchas aldeas donde no tienen servicios básicos, agua, energía eléctrica, eh, salud, no hay nada de eso. In many places, they still have the basic Uh, things that we, you know, have electricity, water, and be able to to have uh, uh, all those uh, basic items for to y, live. Y jamás han salido de su aldea. And they as well have not even left their village. No their conocen community. el mundo. They don't know the world. Pero qué lindo que nosotros como iglesia de Nazareno llegamos para compartirles del amor de Cristo. It is so wonderful that the church of Nazareno we go and share and partner with them. Mi esposa, mi familia, somos salvadoreños. Uh, my family, we are from El Salvador. Ahí es, son países muy eh, folclóricos, muy culturales. Uh, the, the, our, our countries, they're, they're very cultural, right? They're very full and, and tropical looking. Pero so. lo que sí sé es que amamos a las personas. And one thing we know is that we do love God, the people. Amamos a nuestra gente. We love our own people. Y gracias al Señor, la Iglesia de Nazareno abrió el campo misionero para latinos también. And, and as well, the Church of Nazareno that, that I was making point is the Church of Nazareno, our church, has opened the doors as well for their national to be missionaries. Y todos podemos servir. And we all can serve. Todos tenemos oportunidad de servir. We all have an opportunity to serve. Así es que gracias a Dios porque el Señor a mi esposa y a mí nos ha llamado para servir a la iglesia en este tiempo. And we thank the Lord because he has given us more years to be able to serve in the church. Ore por nosotros. We invite you to pray for us. Ore por el ministerio que Dios nos ha dado. Order, uh, pray for the ministry that the Lord has given us. Si alguna vez tiene oportunidad de servir, participe sirviendo. And if one day you have an opportunity to serve, Do it, serve. Participe ofrendando. Uh, always, always giving an offering. Y usted se co puede convertirse, podemos ser socios de, del poder transformador de Cristo. En And we all can become partners in the ministry. De manera, hermanos, que hay, hay, hay tanta necesidad. As you can see, there is so much need. Pero sabemos que también Dios 
está haciendo grandes cosas. And as well, we know that God is doing amazing things. Al final del servicio, si usted quiere una tarjetita nuestra, eh, puede ir allá atrás, allá tenemos para, para que lleve y nos recuerde para que oren por nosotros. We would like to invite you to go to the back table and pick a card, and you can put that card Basically, we, use, we put it in our refrigerator or anywhere that you can pray always for them. Gloria al Señor. Gracias por permitirnos compartir este, estas noticias. We are so thankful to be able to share with you this good news. Y hay una alabanza que quisiera compartir con ustedes en esta mañana. And today I want to sing a, 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 a special song for you this, this morning. Amen. Dice esta alabanza, usa mi vida, Señor, usa mi vida. The title of the song is, Use My Life, Lord, Use My Life. Señor usa mi vida yo quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón usa mi vida Señor usa mi vida yo quiero amarte con todo el cariño de mi corazón aunque indigno soy aunque nada tengo que pueda ofrecerte divino Señor Yo quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas, con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón. Gracias Señor, le damos la honra y la gloria. Thank you Jesus. Usa mi vida, Señor, usa mi vida, yo quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón, usa mi vida, Señor, usa vida yo quiero amarte con todo el cariño de mi corazón aunque indigno soy aunque nada tengo que pueda ofrecerte divino Señor Yo quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas, con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón. Siempre queremos servirte, Señor, con todo nuestro corazón. Gracias, Señor. No somos dignos, dice así este canto. Aunque indigno soy, aunque nada tengo que pueda ofrecerte, divino Señor. Yo 
quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas, con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón. Aunque indigno soy, aunque nada tengo que pueda ofrecer, divino Señor. Yo quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas, con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón. Y yo quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas, con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón. Quiero servirte con todas las fuerzas, con todas las fuerzas de mi corazón. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Gracias servir con todo nuestro corazón. We can definitely serve the Lord with all our heart. Vamos a ir a la palabra del Señor en Hechos capítulo 1. Let's go to Acts 1 of the word of the Lord. Hechos capítulo 1 y vamos a leer la palabra del Señor. del versículo 1 en adelante, vamos a leer, dice la palabra, en mi primer escrito, Teófilo me refería a todas las cosas que Jesús hizo y enseñó desde el comienzo, hasta el día en que fue recibido arriba, después de haber dado mandamientos por el Espíritu Santo a los apóstoles que había escogido. A ellos también, después de haber padecido, se presentó vivo, con muchas pruebas, indubitables, apareciéndoseles durante 40 días y hablándoles acerca del reino de Dios. Y estando juntos les ordenó, no salgáis de Jerusalén, sino esperad la promesa del Padre, la cual oísteis de mí. Porque Juan ciertamente bautizó con agua, pero vosotros seréis bautizados con el Espíritu Santo dentro de no muchos días. Entonces los que se habían reunido le preguntaron diciendo, Señor, ¿restaurarás el reino a Israel en este tiempo? Les dijo, no os toca a vosotros saber los tiempos o las ocasiones que el Padre puso en su sola potestad, pero recibiréis poder cuando haya venido sobre vosotros el Espíritu Santo. Y me seréis testigos en Jerusalén, en toda Judea, en Samaria y hasta lo último de la tierra. Oramos. Padre, gracias por tu palabra. Bendice a tu iglesia y que podamos ser tocados siempre por tu palabra. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Father, we pray that you will... Bless us through this word. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Este pasaje es tan importante como lo son todos, por supuesto, pero hay algo muy especial. There's something special about this text, very special as many others, but there's something unique. Es el momento en que Jesús está dando las últimas instrucciones a sus discípulos. Jesus here is giving last instructions to the disciples. Y qué bueno es poner atención a las instrucciones que, que Isn't el Señor so da. Good to pay to a veces nos pasa que, bueno, me pasa personalmente que compro algo y no leo las instrucciones. Y entonces digo, no funciona. And then I say, oh, it's not working. Y mi esposa me dice, ¿ya leíste las instrucciones? And then my wife me, Have you read the instructions? <laughs> es importante. 
is important to read instructions. Entonces tenemos que leer el manual. And so we have to read the instructions, the manual of the instructions. Y seguir los pasos. And be able to, st uh, to continue step by step. Jesús está para ascender hacia el Padre. So the Lord is ready to go up into heaven. Y le dice, quédense en el aposento alto. And then he told the disciples, stay in the upper room. Esperen la promesa. Wait. Pero mientras ellos estaban siendo instruidos, and while they were waiting and hearing the instructions, siempre hay algunos que queremos saltarnos los momentos. And like many of us, sometimes we want to jump over to the other place, another situation. Y entonces surgen preguntas. So then we have questions. Es como si ya te vas, pero queremos saber cosas todavía. And of course, at that moment, the disciples, you're leaving, but we still want to know more. Por eso en el versículo 6 me llama la atención. And in verse 6 of uh, chapter 1 of Acts. Porque dice, entonces los que se habían reunido en el, le preguntaron, diciendo. And so when they had come together, they were asking him. Y esta es la pregunta que agota a muchos, que, que presiona a muchos, que de, desespera a muchos. And this is the question that really is, 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 is warning, I mean, uh, they're really thinking about it, reflecting on it, they're questioning about it. Dice entonces los discípulos, uno de ellos, Señor, ¿restaurarás el reino de Israel en este tiempo? So finally one of the disciples said, Lord, is it this time you're restoring the kingdom of Israel? Ok, hacemos una pausa. ¿Qué pasa con esta pregunta? Uh, so let's take a pause. What is wrong with this question? Ellos habían, tres años atrás, habían conocido a Jesús. As you remember, they have been with Jesus Christ three years. Cuando Jesús los llamó a ser sus discípulos. Christ called them three years ago. Pero en la mente de, de los discípulos. So but in the minds of the disciples. Todavía estaba ese, ese asunto que querían ser un, una nación eh, principal en todo el mundo. For some reason, the disciples there was still that question that they were supposed to be a nation that it would be, you know, restored. Y ellos han pensado que Jesús sería quien restauraría el, el reino de Israel para ser el reino de todos los reinos. So they are still had this thing gleaming in their in their soul, right? That Jesus Christ was going to restore the kingdom of the Israel and that he would be the king of all. Pareciera ser que no pusieron atención en todo lo que Jesús les enseñó. Isn't it almost like not paying attention to the instructions of the Lord? Yeah. All the instructions. Es que a veces en la vida cristiana parece que hemos pasado 10 años en la iglesia, pero todavía no comprendemos muchas cosas. And sometimes, right, we've been in church for a long, long time, and still we don't get certain things. Y todavía nos pre preguntamos al Señor, Señor, restaurar, ¿restaurarás la iglesia después de esta pandemia? And so, perhaps maybe one of the questions is, Lord, will you restore the church again after this pandemic? ¿Restaurarás mi economía después de esta pandemia? Will you restore as well my finances after this pandemic? ¿Restaurarás, restaurarás mi familia, mi trabajo? Will you restore my job, my family? Pareciera ser que todavía no... No nos proyectamos hacia lo eterno. Perhaps maybe we're still not projecting ourselves into the internal things. Los discípulos todavía su mente estaba en un reino en la tierra. Uh, for some reason the disciples still had their right, their, their mind into the kingdom of the, this earth. Y sí, Jesús vino a establecer un reino. And most definitely Christ came to restore a kingdom. Pero no como potencia mundial para otros países. But not as an authority or potential power for the all for the all nations. Jesús vino a establecer el reino de Dios. Christ came to restore the kingdom of God. Y el reino de Dios no es comida ni bebida ni cosas materiales. And the kingdom of God is nothing uh, a materialistic food or 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 or, or, or uh, el reino, de, el reino de Dios es poder transformador. Because the kingdom of God is something that transforms. El reino de Dios es poder en el espíritu. The kingdom of God is the, the power of the spirit. Pero para, para recibir esto tenemos que prepararnos también eh, mental, espiritualmente. And to do this we as well need to do our part preparing ourselves mentally and as well spiritually. Pero Jesús sabía que somos así. And you know Christ knew that we are this way. Jesús conocía a sus discípulos. Christ knew his disciples. Como esta mañana Jesús nos conoce a cada uno. Like in this 
like in, like in this moment, this day, he knows us. Y él conoce lo que a veces nos preocupa. And this is the question that we ask, right? Él sabe que a veces estamos pensando qué va a pasar mañana. And sometimes he knows, he knows already what's going to happen tomorrow, but we ask the question, what will happen? Él sabe que estamos pensando, será que voy a salir de mis problemas? And, we, and he knows that we're thinking, am I going to come out of these problems? Y pareciera ser que todo lo que pensamos y estamos aquí, pero no estamos, estamos concentrados en nosotros mismos. And he knows already that everything that we're thinking about, we're really concentrating about ourselves. It's about us. Y a veces aún nosotros como pastores te, pensamos y hablamos tanto de nosotros mismos. And sometimes even us pastors, we speak more about us. Pero sabemos y debemos entender que lo que estamos haciendo y, 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 y el por qué estamos aquí se trata de Dios. Because we must know and, and completely understand that everything, why we're here and what we're talking about is all about God. No se trata de nosotros. It's not about us. El reino de Dios es tan grande y tan profundo. The kingdom of the Lord is so great and so profound. Pero hay que tener el corazón conectado. It is so important for us to be connected with the Father. Hay que tener la mirada puesta hacia arriba. We must look up and have our sights unto the heavens. El mundo pasa y sus deseos. The world is going to pass and the desires as well. Estamos en, todavía en transición con la pandemia. There's still a pandemic and the process is still un, moving on. Un día pasará también. One day it will pass. Pero mientras tanto nuestra mirada debe estar enfocada en lo que es más importante. But we must have our focus in what is more important. Y entonces la pregunta está ahí todavía en nuestros corazones ahora también. So, Señor, perhaps, so perhaps the question is still there in, in our hearts. Lord, will you? Señor, ¿qué va a pasar con nosotros? Lord, what's going to happen with us? ¿Qué va a suceder mañana? What is going to happen tomorrow? El próximo año. Next year. Y estamos preocupados. And we are worried. Pero la palabra de Dios nos dice esta mañana. But the word of God tells us this morning. Que el Señor tiene que volver a decirles, tocarles el hombro un poco fuerte. And once again, the Lord perhaps maybe need to pat us a little harder. Tranquilos. Tranquilos, le dice el Señor. No se preocupen por esas cosas. And he said to them, do not worry. Y él les dice, no os toca a vosotros saber los tiempos. And do not worry, it is not for you to know the times. No nos corresponde a nosotros estar preocupados realmente por cosas que en el mundo están pasando. We don't need to worry for all the things happening in the world. Pero sí nos debe preocupar que muchos todavía necesitan de Jesucristo. But one thing we must, and that you need to, we are worried, is that many still need Of God. A nosotros nos toca depender del Señor. We need to depend on God most. Poner nuestra confianza total en él. Put all our, our, our trust in Him. Como familia, mi esposa y yo hemos tenido la experiencia de depender totalmente en el Señor. We and our family are completely dependent on the Lord. A veces no hemos tenido nada. Sometimes we have had nothing. Nada. Nothing at all. Hemos quedado en la calle. Sometimes even in the streets. Pero el Señor ha provisto. But the Lord has provided. Pero nos hemos enfocado en servir al Señor. But our focus has been serving the Lord. ¿Qué va a pasar con nosotros mañana? No lo sé. What will happen to us tomorrow? I do not know. No sabemos qué, qué va a suceder si, si al retirarnos tendremos casa, no tendremos casa. No nos preocupa eso. We don't know if we're going to have a home or, or now. That is not our worry right now. Lo que sabemos es que el Señor nos ha dado una promesa. But we know that the Lord has given us a promise. Que Él estaría con nosotros todos los días. That He will be with us all the time. Pero más que eso, el Señor les dice. But more than that, the Lord says. No les toca a ustedes saber los tiempos o las ocasiones. ¿Qué va a suceder? No, es algo que ustedes deben saber. One thing is, you don't need to worry about what will happen on the times. There's no need for that. Y aquí es lo que cambia todo el panorama totalmente. But here is where everything changes. The en whole el verso, thing. En el verso 8. In verse 8. Pero recibiréis poder. But you will receive power. Cuando seáis llenos del Santo. When you will receive power when you are filled es with the Holy Spirit. Y es que no hay experiencia más grande y profunda 
que cuando somos llenos del poder del Espíritu de Dios. But most definitely there's none, nothing more like in the experience of feeling of the Holy Spirit. Es algo que no podemos entenderlo. There's something sometimes we don't understand. Cuando, cuando lo hemos perdido todo. Sometimes when we have lost everything. Cuando sentimos el dolor de perder a un ser amado. Perhaps sometimes when we have lost a loved Uh, one. Cuando nos sentimos impotentes. Sometimes we don't have once again the strength, and we don't feel that we have the power, the pero, will. Pero, pero nos entregamos a esta experiencia del poder del Espíritu. But we give ourselves to the experience of the Holy Spirit. Hay en nuestro interior algo sobrenatural. Something supernatural happens inside of us. Que nos impulsa. That will move us forward. Que nos llena de gozo en medio del dolor. That will fill us with joy in the midst of uh, of sorrow. Que nos llena de, de de poder compartir de Cristo a otros. That will allow us to share with others the love of God. Of Desde Jesus. nuestra debilidad. And within our weakness. Desde nuestras flaquezas humanas. And sometimes even in our own uh, ways of, of getting down. Cuando somos llenos del Espíritu. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Algo tremendo sucede. Something tremendous happens. Somos usados por el Señor. We are used by the Lord. Somos instrumentos de Cristo. The instruments of the Lord. Tenemos el poder, la potencia, la fuerza. We have the power, the ability to be able to do this. Que solo vienen de Dios. That only comes through, through, through God. Y Dios quiere siempre llenarnos de esa presencia suya. And God always wants to fill us with Dios his quiere presence. llenar de su espíritu cada día tu vida. With his Holy Spirit every day. Y que vivamos realmente en una experiencia continua con Cristo. And be able to live in a uh, holy living. Recibiréis poder. You will receive power. Por lo demás no se preocupen. For anything else, do not worry. De las cosas que ustedes necesitan, yo me encargo, dice el Señor. He said, for the things that you need, I take care of it. Ustedes prediquen. You go ahead and preach. Sirvan. Serve. Amen a las personas. Love the people. Que fluya el amor de Cristo. The, the, the love of God makes sure it's flowing. Que fluya el poder de Dios. That the power of the Lord ahí continue con tu moving. Ahí con tu familia. There with your family. Con tus vecinos. With your neighbors. Con tus amigos. With your friends. Que ellos puedan ver el poder de Dios en tu vida. That they will see the power of God in you. De lo demás no te preocupes. And everything else do not worry. Eso Dios sabe lo que es. Él sabe todo lo que va a suceder. He knows already everything that's going to happen. Lo importante para nosotros But the most important for us es que experimentemos is that we will experience ser llenos del Espíritu Santo be filled with the Holy Spirit para poder ser testigos to be able to be witness en Jerusalén in Jerusalem en, en Jerusalén en Judea in Jerusalem in Judea en Samaria in Samaria y hasta lo último de la tierra to the ends of the world amen Puede ponerse de pie esta mañana. May you stand at this present moment. Te damos gracias, Señor, por tu palabra. We give you thanks, Lord, for your word. Oro para que seamos cada día llenos de tu espíritu. We pray, Lord, that you, we will be filled with your Holy Spirit every day. Y que puedas permitirnos, Señor, no preocuparnos por el mañana. Help us, Lord, not to worry about what will happen tomorrow. Sabemos que tenemos que hacer muchas cosas. We know, Lord, we need to do so many things. Pero todo está bajo tu control. But everything is in, in your control. Mientras tú tienes control del mundo. While you have control of the world. Permítenos a nosotros. But allow us. Compartir del amor de Cristo. To be able to share the love of God. En el poder de tu espíritu. In the, in the power of your spirit. Llénanos. Fill us. Llénanos con tu Santo Espíritu. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Y que haya siempre en nosotros el gozo de tu salvación. And for us to be able to do things y podamos with, with amar a las personas. To be able to us to love the people. Sobre todo aquellos que no te conocen. For most the ones who still do not know you. Gracias porque podemos participar. Thank you, Lord, that we can participate. De las bendiciones de tu reino. The blessing of your kingdom. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Lord. Te damos la honra y la gloria. We give you the honor and the glory. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Gracias, Pastor. In the same spirit of worship, the table has been served for us. En el mismo espíritu de adoración, la Santa Cena es preparada por nosotros. Pastor Pedro, Pastor Pedro puede venir.
we would like to invite you. The communion supper is situated by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a sacrament. We know this. Which proclaims his life, his sufferings, his sacrificial death and restoration. And the hope of his coming again. It shows forth the Lord's death until his return. The supper means, it's a means of grace. And I love that line. I, I always stop right there. What our pastor has shared right now, today, is the day of salvation. But today, is as well the impairing of the Holy Spirit in your life. Come as you can. And come as you are. And as we have here, we proclaim this. Come unto me, says the Lord. Come unto me. All who are tired and weary, come and participate in mission as we continue loving our community, loving our people. Amen? So if you're ready, come. Because the Lord's Supper is ready. Come and take the elements. Vengan a recibir los elementos. Keep it in your hands and we'll share together y vamos a compartir juntos. Amen? You're welcome to come forward. Están bienvenidos a venir enfrente. You're welcome to stand in the front if you want to, if you care. Uh, pueden estar enfrente o you're welcome to come to your, to your place as well. Pueden venir a sus lugares también. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All those who are truly repentant, forsaking their sins, and believing in Christ for salvation are invited to participate in the death and resurrection of Christ. We come to the table that we may renew in life and salvation be made one by the Spirit. And in unity with the church, wherever you're at, can you confess with me our faith? Say with me, Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Father, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us to be able to be together, Lord, to share the gospel, to be together, Lord, in everything that we do. We thank you, Jesus. We have gathered together, Lord. You have brought us together, and we pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will always be with us. By your Spirit, make us one in Christ and what in what. We know, Lord, that you are one. And we thank you, Lord, for, your, for the Holy Spirit here this morning. We pray, Lord, that you will be with us. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for your presence. Whoever, Lord, still needs to get closer to you, Father, we ask that they will get closer. That they will surrender all. And that they will follow you. Knowing that you have a purpose for them. Knowing that you have a mission for them and for all of us. Knowing that you have brought us together to be one in the body of Christ. Thank you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Amen. I always give the instructions, don't open the juice first, open the bread first. <laughs> but if you open the juice, it's okay. You can sip it. It's all right. Now you can take the bread and it says, you know already this bread is, has been prepared for us. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, broken for you, preserve you, blameless and forever, lasting life. Eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you and be thankful. You, must, you might eat now and be thankful to the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are so thankful, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Now, now as you take the other side, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ shed for you, preserve you blameless and to everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ died for you and be thankful. You may drink now. Father, we thank you once again for the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Thank you for giving us life. Thank you for giving us everything that we have in our in our possession. Thank you for the blessing of our temple. Thank you, Lord, for just having an opportunity to be together as the body. And we'll continue celebrating, Father, for all other congregations here in the facilities for our Filipino, our Spanish, our both Koreans, Father. And here, Lord, we are one in your body. Ministry in different contexts, cultures, language. But Father, we pray that you will always be the center of everything. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The benediction for us today is, and if you can open your hands to receive it, May the Lord give strength to his people. Amen. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Go and be light and salt in the world. God bless you all. Our, some of our brothers and sisters have prepared fellowship. I heard they're chicken fajitas. So in the fellowship, come and take, take some time to visit with our missionaries. Remember in the back, there's some cards. If we can get some cards for all of you to have one so we can pray for our missionaries. Amen. Amen. Dios les bendiga a todos. Pasamos al lado para poder estar juntos un rato con nuestros misioneros. Amen. Because he Once again, you're invited to come to fellowship to the courtyard.